top secret from the vault. Yeah. Why don't we show them we got? All right. Okay. So this is, this is coming soon. This is our CircuitPython 4 poster. So CircuitPython 4 is all about Bluetooth. Nordic was kind enough to let us use their logo for this poster. We got permission. Everything's cool. They even said it was okay. They, they loved it. Fine. They said the they, engineers are like, let's ask marketing. Marketing's like, okay, fine. Fine. So CircuitPython 4, the poster's coming soon. This is a preview of it. It looks good. I don't think you'll ever see a poster like this ever again. So okay. coming soon, sign up. We'll get yeah. these posters and celebrate CircuitPython 4. So yeah, coming soon, I got this GPIO expander bonnet. Uh, one, of the, one of the cool things is, you know, we've done a ton of CircuitPython code last year, some from summer through winter. We did a bunch of CircuitPython work to get libraries for all of our different CircuitPython libraries, all the libraries we've written for CircuitPython for all the chips into PyPI so that the Raspberry Pi can use them with Blinka, our compatibility layer. And it's worked out really well. And so it's actually much easier for me to uh, make uh, hardware for the Raspberry Pi now because I already have those libraries that I can build on. We've, uh, yeah, what is it, 125? 125. Libraries. At least. And so, you know, we've got a library for the GPA expander. So it's like, yeah, yeah, whip up, uh, you know, a bonnet. And I know that the support is already built into Blinka. Uh, it's going to be ready to rock the moment the hardware's done. We also got, I uh, did some e-experimentation. I know you saw that um, or from earlier in the show. So I thought, you know, maybe it's Featherwing, you know, an e-ink we Featherwing. We are doing this and we're like, you know, it'd be kind of cool. Maybe it would be just plug, Something the, like this. plug the feather wing into the back. You know, you could use one of those particle feather wings as well, uh, feathers, and uh, it gives you SD card and, uh, you know, the, the uh, tricolor um, e-ink display. And then um, we put SRAM on all our e-ink breakouts so you can use them even with um, this, the smaller chips that can't buffer the entire display in RAM. That's top secret. Back in the vault. It's totally not out yet. Why are you even asking? Okay. 